Hey everyone, the Game Beast here. Welcome back to another video. Happy Nexomon console release day. This video is going to be a beginner guide of sorts to anyone who is starting their playthrough of Nexomon 1. So let's get right into it, everyone. Now, Nexomon being a turn-based monster taming game has many things that you should be aware of when starting out if you want to play most effectively. To start, you should be aware of the type chart. When you start Nexomon, you'll be able to choose from one of these types for your starter, so knowing the type matchups is essential. Here's a graphic feed to take a look at. If you look at this wheel, you will see that fire is effective against wind and grass, water against fire and earth, electric against wind and water, grass against earth electric and water, wind against earth and grass, and earth against fire and electric. And then if you take a look at the wheel in reverse, it'll also show you the ineffective type matchups as well. So wind and grass will do ineffective damage to a fire type and so on around the wheel. Knowing what moves and typing your Nexomon have available to them and having a well-rounded team is definitely the key to winning in battle in-game. In addition to these types associated with your Nexomon, each Nexomon also has an associated rarity. These range from common, uncommon, rare, mega rare, special, and legendary. These tiers will determine what level of stats the Nexomon will have. Common Nexomon will have a lower stat total than a Nexomon who otherwise was a mega rare or a special tier Nexomon, so be sure to get a team of some rare Nexomon if you want an easier time playing through the game. Each map will typically have commons, uncommons, one or two rares, one mega rare, and one special Nexomon, so be sure to check out each map for a chance at a rare one. And while you're exploring these maps, be sure to keep an eye out for hidden items as well. Small glowing items can be found scattered across the game and will contain items for you to add to your bag. In some cases, these can be potions or coins, but other times they can be more lucrative items like the skates, which will help you travel around faster, or the experience share to help make leveling easier. The glowing items in this version also contain a number of golden nexo traps, the items which allow you to add nexomon to your party. These golden nexo traps have a 100% capture rate as opposed to the standard ones, so they're going to be very powerful for you if you run into a nexomon you want to be sure you're going to catch. But if you don't have any golden nexo traps and you're out exploring, I would recommend keeping a good amount of normal nexo traps on you in case you find a nexomon you enjoy and you want to add it to your party. I would also recommend keeping potions and ethers on hand to make your journey between towns a lot easier. Money isn't super scarce in this game, so definitely don't be shy about stocking up your inventory to completion with potions, ethers, and whatever any sorts of supplies you would need. I would also recommend that you start filling out your party as soon as possible. Having an abundance of types to use in battle will make the various type matchups across the game a breeze for you. Just be sure to have a variety of Nexomon on your team type-wise, and try to get some Nexomon that have some moves on it that are different typings in it as well, so you'll have a lot more type coverage. All in all, these tips should help you to become a Nexomon master in no time, but if you have any questions, be sure to let me know in the comments below. If you're interested in picking up Nexomon 1, the game did release on consoles today, on PS5, PS4, Xbox One, and Xbox Series X, as well as Switch. So if you're interested, definitely check the game out. I also have a review of the game, so if you're interested in knowing what the overall package is like, be sure to take a look at that. But otherwise, thank you guys so much for watching this video. Hopefully the guide helped you out, and like I said, if you had any other questions, be sure to let me know in the comments. Please feel free to leave a like if you did enjoy this video, and be sure to subscribe for more monster taming content in the future. Thank you guys for watching, and I hope you guys have a great rest of your day.